Hey, hey, what's good, YouTube? And welcome to the Cold Turkey Crew. Hey, guys, I was out today in the city. It's a beautiful day, and yeah, I was around on my, on my little scooter, and um, yeah, I was coming up to where I work, and I met a, a young lady named Francisca C. Um, she asked me for a cigarette, and uh, we started chatting. I asked her if I could film her. Francesca is homeless, and she spoke to me. We had a few words together. Um, this is that interview. Is this when you were at this time? No, no. Yeah, we are. Um, my name is Francesca, and uh, I was homeless for 15 years before I got given a place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was left at the sea from some little tour in on and off, you know. And, uh, have you got a place at the moment, Francesca? I'm not, you know what happened was, I was giving me place, yes. and I won't get into the ins and outs of an addict, so I'm an alcoholic and right. unfortunately, but it's okay, yeah. in the middle of the last battle relapse, you know, she just broke loose, yeah. and uh, I've had to be taken away from the place for a period of time until the, ha the happy that I can got back into where I was living. Tell me, Francesca, how has it been during the COVID being homeless? It's crazy. It's driving, it's driving people who never drank before yes. to turn around and be, and be purely out with alcoholics. Do you know what I mean? Yes. People are binging on alcohol. People are smoking so much more weed. You know, the drug, the, the drug epidemic, the way it was, is a hundred times worse. Is it since the COVID? Because I got to clean myself, I'm yeah, asking, you know, I, I'm a user, I use, I use them many, many years. And I'm clean now, and I'm doing this blog, it's about homelessness, mm. people trying to live clean, but mm. also people struggle like yeah. yourself. So, tell me... I only came out of treatment about five weeks ago. Oh, did you love? Where did you go? I went in, and look at, I'm not, look at, my only offence against this disease, yeah? Yeah. Is abstinence. Abstinence, yes. Um, see why that door is still open my mum at all? Yes, yeah. mate, right. I will never fucking break for you, do you understand me? You will, Dan, you will someday. I will, but you know what? I came off methadone. <laughs> I came off methadone, love, you know? I came off it and uh, I was on it for fucking but, years. Do you know why I'm not too walking? Sorry for cutting you. No, it's okay. I'm not too walking in this town and a half a day. Oh, Crying. Crying, eh, love, yeah. I'm fucking using against me, will. Well, I know. Make it makes sense to me, my darling. Using You're using against your will. <laughs> yes, my love. There it absolutely uh, is. It's You're hurting, aren't you, chicken? Uh, yeah. Listen to me, Sarah. Have you ever tried Subutex or Suboxone? You know, I, I got a Subutex detox <laughs> in, in, uh, in prison in England. Right. That's the only one that I ever How did you before. find that one? Would you not change onto the Suboxone? They At least you'd have your mind. Would they, they not? Me, they want me on 50 nights for the rest of my life. Like oh, it's an absolute before. fucking disgrace, um, isn't it? Yeah, that they do with that. It's liquid handcuffs. That's, you can bet your bollocks, liquid handcuffs is what you get. And they want to allow people to reach their full potential because you can't even see what's in front of you. So you feel you trapped know. with no future so in front yeah. of you. Jesus Christ. And how does it? how is it for you in the COVID now that everything's shut and... I mean, you must be lost going around. I was very soldier, right? And I, uh, had a good look Just at explain for the people what soldier is, look. Soldier is a, it's a day program which was like, it, it, was, it, was, it, it gives you art. It gives oh, it's you, very good. You know, I know drama, what it is in yeah. just for the people, uh, yeah. College, break, crepe, bloke, you know, yes. and he really helps out with it. He brings us some marks every two weeks. Yeah, they're good people in soldier. They're good people, they care. Yeah. And without saying too much, you know what I mean? Yes, my um, love. Recovery knows recovery. You get where I'm coming from. Absolutely. Yeah. So you did soldier and they hooked you up with the treatment, the, the no, treatment centre? No, what happened was I, I went to the treatment, I went to the kill morning at 28 am, sorry, yeah. and uh, basically what happened was uh, I went there and they asked me to write me like sorry while I was still in orientation, which yeah. is not normal, you know yes. what I mean? Normally they wait until you're in junior. And stuff came up for me there, to be honest. So I, I said to the girls, I said, look, I, I, can't, I can't do this. There's too much coming in too quick. The emotions that I haven't felt in fucking 20 years just can't. Fuck. And you know that all that methadone suppresses those that emotions. Does, yeah. So I came off it in there from 40 minutes and then killed me. How was your mind when you came off it? Uh, savage. 
savage. Yeah. Savage. Every song I heard, someone I just have to say something. And the compulsion is still there. Yes, because you see, our mind is fragmented when you come off methods. Completely. And what you need is you need to be rewired. Do you yeah, understand me? Yeah, and that takes that, that takes <clears> a lot of work, which is unfortunate. The reason most of us yes. don't make this. Oh, darling, it's terrible. You know, it's a and how do happen. you get your fuel, Bob Francesco? I'll tell you what. It's, yeah. it's happy. Right. Yeah, it's top is top, a begging, isn't it? Like, right, yeah, yeah, call yeah. it what it and is. And look at, you know what? Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie to you. If there's some foreigner asking you, I'm not talking to no, you. Know, it's all right, look at them. Speaker knows truth, girl. Right, that the world before the pandemic and all that there he used to be in. And I said, you have your foreigners and wherever you want to be, hope, pray for them. So you'd hustle, wherever. basically, you'd hustle, to do it, make a few, but I understand, I know, I know. It's all about the hustle and telling, you see, because it's gone, even the music now, they sound like, what the fuck, mm -hmm. which maybe in a way is a good thing. Yeah. Maybe it is. It's letting them see that there is no glamour in this game. You're it's absolutely letting, right. Do, do you understand what yes, I'm saying? Yes, I do. It's letting them see the desperation behind the desperation. Yes. To, and you know, that's why your voice is very important, Francesca, and to hear from you. Um, listen, I hope we see us around town yeah, and I can get to do a check-in or an yeah, update. Would absolutely. you be okay for that, love? I'm, I'm Paul, and the, uh, the platform's called Cold Turkey. Hashtag Cold Turkey with a K. Oh, with a K, <laughs> yeah. With a K. <laughs> listen, Francesca, it. you're a good guy. You know, you deserve a break. Nobody deserves to be on the streets in these days. You're telling me, though, you're in Stay City at the moment, yeah. isn't it? Is that because of the COVID? Just yeah. And where know, is your usual place it's after that? Crazy after a while for the place you go in, and in fairness, they provide a good service to where you know for what they are needed for. But, yes. Um, you go in and you're basically isolated in a two bed apartment block. Yeah. Like yeah. An apartment you don't get to see anyone. The only people you see is staff. Yes. And like. You'd quite easily go, especially coming from this type of environment straight into that. Yeah. Crazy off the wall shit. People just don't cope. And I, I have me cope, and I'm trying. That's why I leave the place, you know, three quarters of the day, and I go back then. I just let off with a steam, and then I go back in. Sure. Home. But you still want to get clean, do you, love? Sweet. I have a nine year old son, right? Yes. That, on the 21st of January, yeah, mm -hmm. that was his birthday. On the 22nd, he found his dad dead in the kitchen. Oh, I'm oh, so was, sorry. And I hadn't seen him in three years. My son is the fucking main casualty in my life and my years. Well, sweetheart, isn't he the one you're going to get clean for? Yeah, and if you can't do it for yourself, do it for him, though. Listen, on days when I'm like, <coughs> I'm not going to pretend she is paying because you know what it's okay, not. Okay, I, I know that, darling. Yeah, I know that. Like, all you can do is pray, I swear. Like, they say Never give up hope, Francesca. Hear me, love. The gift of desperation. The gift of desperation is not powerful, yes. Oh, but you know what? How desperate more do I have to get? I know. Am I going to be in a room? No, so love. You're going to decide now that you're not, right here and now. You're going to make it through this. So I'm going to give up. I know, darling. I know. Sorry. It's okay, sweetheart. And this is the truth. This is the true re hard reality of the situation, isn't it? It's, it's life or death. It is life or death, darling. Yeah. And, you know, I would encourage you to choose life because you're still alive. You have your son. <laughs> and, you know, your heart is beating. And, look, you can see you're a good person. You're just you trapped know in this bullshit. This, you know, no, what's on my heart is... <laughs> Go on. Here goes Johnny M again. <laughs> Lust for life. Yeah. 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 I'm going to play that for you at the end <laughs> of this blog. Lust for life. And that's Lust what you need, life. my girl. Lust for life. Good to see you <laughs> smile. Like, yeah, <laughs> Lust for life so for you, Francesca. Yeah. Uh, I, wish you, I wish you well, my darling. Thank you so it's much like, for no talking problem. to us. Fair play to, fair play to you. And listen, I hope better days are lying ahead of you, darling. They have to be because yeah. <laughs> are you sure <laughs> are? You've done your hell here, darling. Don't worry about it. Have. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, man. Well, it makes me angry to think that people are being left and ignored in the COVID. 
but uh, they're just putting the homeless into these hostels, into these JCB apartments on a temporary basis, giving them their methadone. No real services for interaction or no daily planning. And these people are alone in these temporary apartments. It's probably as good as they've had it for a while, but the loneliness is really hard for them. And getting their few quid in the street, hustling, become much more difficult as Francesca has just told us. I'm hoping to meet Francesca later in the week and to get our full story and show it here on Cold Turkey. Till then stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out.